my Swillies. Welcome back for another episode of Last Fortress Underground. I hope everybody is doing well. All right, so before we get into today's episode, if this is the first time you guys have joined the channel and you guys are recommended by somebody and they say, hey, you know what? Swill's doing his thing. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe to him? What are you waiting for, guys? Push that red button, make it turn gray, and also make sure that notification bell is turned on. All right, so we're going to be talking about in this episode the latest update, and we're going to be answering a couple questions here um, pertaining to the game. Now, that's going to be a series I think I'm going to start doing maybe once a week or so, answering questions, depending on how many I get, because we usually get a lot on this game. Like, it's the reason why I came back to this game, because you guys are asking so many questions. So I said, let me go check it out and see what's what. All right, so let's see. Version 1.292.001. All right. Season optimized. After an alliance transfers from one zone to another, zone power of the original zone will drop and that destination zone will increase in accordingly. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you guys. You're going to lose what you had and the zone that you're going to is going to gain more, basically. That's all it's saying. Oh, they got a new icon, new world icon. Uh, let's see, new, a blah, blah, blah. a new icon. World domination is added to main interface. Tap it to access the road to dominance event. System improvements optimize the way to like messages and chat rooms. Commanders no longer need to worry about chats being interrupted by too many likes flooding in. I was never worried about that anyway, but I'm not a commander either. All right. So I did notice that a couple different things were going on, like especially like they were saying at the top of the screen. Um, you got Champion Duel, Strongest Alliance. And then, of course, when you do your Alliance Duel, everything comes up in this interface right here. And I did notice that I'm on this one is on 139, which I think we migrated to 140, basically. But it's still 139. And that's one of my this is like my main account for the most part. Um, I noticed that the interface is a lot different. Now, let me go switch over to the other account real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. Just remember, Champion Duel, Strongest Alliance, Super Speed Up, but that's not too important. But the Champion Duel, everything is different. I'm gonna show you. All right, so look at that. Champion Duel, Alliance Duel, Doomsday Premium. All right, Champion Duel, Alliance Duel, which, what happened to the, uh, the other one? It's gone, <laughs> it's gone, all right? So you can see their alliance duel, but when it comes to like the, the strongest alliance, where'd strongest alliance go? Like it's gone, that button is disappeared, okay? It is what it is. World domination, I don't see it, but either way, I saw it before, but they keep switching things around so much and people are gonna be asking these questions. So you guys gotta see that I'm puzzled as much as you guys, all right? So let's just go over a couple of these little questions I've gotten so far in the last couple of days. Um, somebody was asking Samantha Walker. She was asking, I hear is, there's a way for an alliance to transfer zones in S2. Is that true? Honestly, I've never heard that one. Transfer zones in S2. Keep what you got. What's wrong with the one you're in? Because what happens is, guys, you guys might transfer to a different uh, server or a zone or whatever you want to call it. And then the grass is not always greener on the other side. Okay. The only thing I can recommend instead of transferring i mean if you guys i know you guys have your accounts and everything like that but honestly I, and i hate to say this it's almost better to start over to be honest with you <laughs> rather than spend all that money and transfer okay um yeah i'm not really sure about that i never heard that transferring to s2 never heard that part all right so let's move on to the next one all right so this next one is from three side gamer and he actually answered asked a question on my last video um, answering comments it says bro how to go to go in explore all right that's pretty simple my friend all you're gonna do is go to the bottom right right where it says battle here i'm gonna circle it for you you're gonna go right there rock chair okay you're gonna click on that once you click on that you got the you get the option for explore expedition which you should be doing every single day and explore every single day as much as you can but you definitely got to do the explore and you're gonna click on it all right, it's gonna take you to this interface right here. You claim whatever you're gonna claim. But mine is always, it's starting to lag on this thing lately. All right, so we got that, we're gonna claim our stuff, but that's how you go to the explore part. All right, I don't know if you're talking about expedition, but it's all right here on this interface right here. Hope that answers your question. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next comment is about um, the hero contract that I made. 
Now you gotta keep in mind the server the game the the count that I'm on right now is server three. So usually like server one through like I think like like server five or six get all the stuff first. Okay. So when I make these videos, I make them when they come out first. So of course you know your server S1. Um, it's in, it's in his S1 basically. The uh, the hero contract is in S1. Yeah, it's still there now, but in the, in the beginning when it first came out, it wasn't there. Okay, We're, we get the we get the you know be the the guinea pigs before they get released to the other seasons and things like that. But yeah, I understand that your season one has the hero contract now. But let me see, when was that video made? I can't remember when the video was made. Oh, it came out July like 30th, 31st, or something like that. Um, so yeah, it wasn't out on, on those other seasons yet. Only on those those first few uh, servers. Let's go on to the next question. All right, I guess the next one is from Gam Gamla Girl. She's asking about the the gear factory. All right, that's this building right. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right down here. Right here. They said, how much did it cost? It didn't cost anything. It's just a little small amount of couple seconds it took to build. You're just gonna click on a little hammer, which is right here. All right, click on that. And then anything you can build, which I don't have the bar on this account, but I have it on my other account, it'll be right in that little that little spot right there. So you would always, you always wanna check these things. Like whenever you see like an exclamation mark red, click on it, click on it, and then see what you got, okay? Usually you got some new stuff, sometimes you don't. So we'll go on to the next question. Next comment question is from Larry McDonald. Uh, he's asking about the turret. He says, does turret level up? Yes, my friend, the turret levels up. All right, matter of fact, let me kill up my troops real fast while I'm thinking about it. And then of course, speed up like a champ. All right, that's all we're gonna do. I just gotta answer this question. So anyway, you're gonna click on your turret, guys. In case you guys didn't know, you're gonna level it up. You're gonna click on it until it has a little level up symbol. It's gonna tell you what you need to do to level up um, your deal. All right, so right now this one is 24. I can go to 25, but from 24 to 25, it's gonna cost me 9,000 of this little stone, 4,000 iron, uh, some diamonds, 480 of these little diamonds. Or actually, yeah, 480 of the diamonds, which is very easy to get. And then, of course, it's going to be the Z coins, 16,500 16, Z coins. Um, at this level, it's going to take five days and some change. It's nine hours, 12 minutes, nine seconds. Just to level this up at that point. All right. A very good question, of course. But it does cost diamonds to level this up. There's no leveling it up with speed up, you know, speed ups and stuff like that or whatever. It's strictly diamonds. Next question. All right. So the next question comment is from Spooky92. All right. So he's he's asking about the hero contract. Um, he's, his comment is, so eventually, if you leave them in there long, would it save the ascensions? Um, because you're forced to leave them there just to get them temporarily ascended. This whole thing seems entirely pointless to me. If you leave them there, you should be able to keep the ascension in my opinion. You do. <laughs> when you go to your hero contract, I'm telling you guys, the hero contract is the best thing since sliced bread. You, you're not gonna change my mind, I promise you. Hero contract is the best. This is something that if you struggle to level your, your heroes, which a lot of times you do, not everybody, I mean, there's people out there, I can level up my hero in, 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 in two hours. I get all these pulls. But if you have a hero that you cannot level up, like I got my Enrique in there on this account. Now my other account, my Enrique is maxed. This is my fixed repper account. I don't really care. I don't spend a lot of money on this one. I spend a little bit here and there, but you can level up your hero, guys. Like this is the best. I don't understand why people think this is bad. Now, if I were to take him out the contract, I'm gonna still keep my, my level on my skills. Those don't go away. The only thing that is gonna go away is his actual level. He's level 80 right now. That's gonna disappear. All right, his skills are gonna be leveled up. His gear's not gonna change. He's, you know, of course he's gonna lose the ascension. That's the whole That's the whole point, okay? Now I would show you guys this, but I don't wanna, I'm not gonna lose my, my contract right now because, you know, whatever. I don't wanna spend the diamonds, I'm being cheap. I got a lot of diamonds on this account, 12,000, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But the, the hero contract, guys, this is the best. Either use it or not use it. I think it's better. You can sit there and level your hair up the regular way, the traditional way, or you could do it like this. If you're like, wait a minute, I want to use whatever hero I, this account has. Let me see, what do I have on this account? 
For instance, Penny. Okay, I am not getting any Penny pools here on season three. It's not happening. I'm not getting it. I have to spend, and I did. I spent maybe maybe three hundred dollars just to get her the second one. I cannot get her to save my life. Okay, so putting her in the ascension makes sense to level her up, and I leveled her up through the ascension. <laughs> Why do you think she's seventy and she's purple? All right, she got to keep her stuff, her skills anyway. Well, let me see. Hold on a second. Her skills were there. Maybe I'm, we need to backtrack. Well, no, her skills aren't all leveled up, but either way, she got to keep her stuff basically. So hero contract, my my friend. Let's move to the next one. All right. So the next question is from Shane Burkhart. He said, "What is the first step to train your troops?" Thanks for a cool video. All right. So let me see. Going to train your troops. All right, so you got three different types of troops to train. Pretty much, you know, you're gonna go to your gym, you go to your sparring room, and you go to your shooting range. All you have to do is click on here where it says train. Let's click that. Okay. Hopefully, you have a trainer. If you don't have a trainer, it's okay. The trainers cost like five bucks, they're affordable, but you can get them for free. Okay. You don't have to spend money on them. I got on this account. I got Pamela for free. I just got her last week, free. I didn't pay for her at all. I got her in a pool. Actually, not a pool. I got her in a, in a box. She was in a box. And I, I, I went ahead and selected her, and that was pretty much it. I, I could have picked any one of the three trainers, but I decided to choose her because I'm always out of the sharpshooters, always. Always out of those for whatever account. But now I should have picked the one, you know, what is it, Beasley? I should have picked Beasley, but it is all good. I will probably buy them on this account, but... It's not that big of a deal. So anyway, you're gonna click on train. Now, depending on what tier you have, this account's tier eight. Hopefully I'll be tier nine soon. But if you're, whatever tier you are, you're gonna go ahead and click on that corresponding tier. Hit train, that's it. All right, you can speed them up, whatever you wanna do. If you have, let's say that I have tier seven, you're gonna see like a little, um, like a green arrow. That's gonna be popping up right over here on this one. If I have tier sevens is hanging out in there, I can always upgrade those guys. Okay. Upgrade them to tier eight. All right. So that's another option you could do there as well. All right. So I think that's gonna be it for these questions here. Keep the questions coming, guys. This is amazing. All right. It doesn't matter. There's no stupid question. I don't think there's a stupid question. I think they're all, all questions are valid. So keep them all coming. Definitely love read, reading these um, out from you guys. And I answer as much as I can. And if I can't answer it, I'll make a video of it when I do find the answer. So it, it, they're always valid. So there's always something we can help each other with. Um, but either way, guys, if you guys found value in this um, video, make sure you guys drop a like. Please and thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.